fast track over the past couple of days. The Norton Healthcare and Sports Learning Center. The speed will continue in the 400 meters. The great Shakima Wembley, your record holder in the conference of 51.07. I remember that moment six years ago. Florida State with some youth in this event. Faith Banks, first year in Tallahassee. New to the ACC, but not just won an American Athletic Indoor title in the DMR. She gets her first go around with Florida State. For North Carolina, Brianna White, the sophomore from Brooklyn. The Tar Heels are off to a good start. Remember, they won the mile a few moments ago. White will try to keep it rolling in the 400 meters. First time into the finals for her. White will be in three. Sanaya Hebron in four for Miami. Banks and then Blanca Hervis for the Hurricanes in lane six. First of two sections, time finals tonight. A lot of times when you see sections uh, on time, you would see the, the five through uh, eight seeds in the first and four through one through four seeds. And they do a little differently here in the NCAA that they want to give the advantages which of the best lanes, which were five and six. So your top two seeds are in the second section, but the three and four seeds are running in five and six here. So expect to see some great races uh, out of lanes five and six in both heats. And there in lane five is Oliviera. Oh, excuse me, Hebr Hebron. Hebron. Hervis. And we are underway, the first of two sections here in the women's 400 meters. Faith Banks, second member of her family. You watch her in lane five to compete in a Division I athletic following her mother, Sonia. She was a four-year player for Clemson in volleyball, and now her daughter, Banks, has found a way to the ACC. At the pole, it's going to be real tight. Banks will have the narrow lead. Hebron second. Hervis third, White fourth. Back straight away, it's Faith Banks, your leader. Hebron sitting second, Hervis fading back a little now as you start to see Banks open it up. Banks looks like she's gonna hold on. Faith Banks across the line, let's see. 52-8-9, let's see if there's an adjustment. 52-8-8. The time for Banks. Either way, it's a PR by a mile. Boy, what a showing by Banks. Maybe that hometown cooking from nearby Cincinnati giving her some extra push. <laughs> maybe maybe Chile helped out here. Good job by Banks being aggressive. Getting, the key was being first at the pole, I think. And it was really tight coming off the, uh, the markers, but she gave that extra oomph towards the 200 meter line and got in there. PR for both Banks and Hebron, by the way. Very happy with her performance. Faith Banks will now sit and play the role of the spectator. 52-8-8 for Banks. Hebron second, White and Hervis. Again, Faith Banks, her personal best, 53-5-9. So she runs a really, really good race in the first of two sections. And that's certainly Puts the pressure on section two. McGinnis has run 52.67, Oliviera 52.18. They're ranked 24th and 13th in the country, respectively. So you just saw two really solid Miami quarter milers, but their best is yet to run. She'll be in lane five. And Megan McGinnis will be all the way outside in six. Julia Jackson of Duke in four. This is a crucial event for Duke. If they don't put a big points in this, it's gonna be really, really hard to overtake the Hokies. We probably need somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 points. What a year it has been for Mariah Oliveira for Miami. The sophomore, the reigning indoor champion in this event. Coming in, she had the fastest time this season. Also will represent the Canes in the 200 meter finals a little bit later on today, but she has become the face of the speed for head coach Amy Dean. Duke still in the team race, but they need a performance from Megan McGinnis, the sophomore from Roanoke. Coming off a big season last year in her freshman campaign. She was an NCAA All-American in the 4x4. 
part of an ACC championship 4x4 relay as well. Part of a really busy weekend for her. Quarter on the DMR Friday night, quarter prelims yesterday, quarter now, and probably one more quarter on the 4x4 later today. A workhorse for the Duke Blue Devils. Canaria Gadsden in three, Julia Jackson in four, Olivera five, McGinnis out wide in lane six. And the second time final underway. Not a real crisp start out of the block by Olivera, but she has speed to burn on the back straightaway. McGinnis got out well, but Olivera has already caught her. Now, the question is, can Duke get second and third to score their 14 points they must have? Olivier really under control. 24-23 at the 200. McGinnis in second. Mariah Oliveira taking over the lead and onto the back straight away, being chased and pursued by McGinnis. Oliveira looking to win her second straight ACC indoor title. The time to beat right now. 52-8-8. Keep an eye on the clock. Keep an eye on McGinnis. McGinnis. A push McGinnis. by Duke, and it will be McGinnis propelling past the reigning champ. 52-5-9 for Megan McGinnis. Huge. Huge for McGinnis. 52-67 was her best. That's a full tenth faster. Her last 200, 27-95. Olivier closing in 28-68. Julia Jackson coming on with a strong finish, 53-25. There, look, look how Olivier here passing. This is early on, and she definitely was the leader cutting to the pole. It looked like she set herself, herself up big time. There's the bell, as you heard it. But when it came down to the final turn, Heading towards the last straightaway. McGinnis timed it perfectly, went outside, slingshot it around, used the momentum to grab the lead. Huge win for her. Sets up a second. Faith Banks ends up second. Oliveira, Miami, third. What a finish for Megan McGinnis. Wait. Haley Hunter, 